Hey guys, it's Edvige, a Coastal Magnolia, and in this video, I'm going to combine two of my favorite methods for making Christmas ornaments from shells that I find on my beach. I've painted a lot of shells, and I just recently started using water slide decals, but I've never done them together. Will it work? Stick around and find out. I'm going to do six shells, so I have various paints, a little dish of water, my paintbrush, and some paper towels. These are Art Smith, these are all acrylic paints, Art Smith turquoise blue. My Lictrex Basics Thalo Cyanine Green, I can't pronounce it, I love that color. Lictrex uh, Bright Aqua Green. And I already have white on my board. And I've got some yellow and some red that I don't think I'm going to use. Um, just was not really happy with, um, with those. So I'm just going to work with these. Now, this shell, well, th these are all broken. So this one has, I, and it's okay. What I'm going to do with it, I'm probably going to, fill this in with like a little um, stone. This will be where I put the hanger and this one too. This one, I'm just going to make it work with what I have. This one is missing half of the shell, but um, I'm still going to make some kind of a little scene out of it. Maybe, maybe this way and I'll put a hole here for the hanger and just do something. So get, getting creative. Uh, I think I'm going to Plant, plant. I think I'm going to paint this one first. You know, I love blue. getting all up in the shell, put the edges nice and pretty. And I'm probably going to be using some crushed glass and just different things in it. Sounds good. And I'm feeling bold. Maybe I will do a sunset in this one. I have a plan for this one. Just wait till you see. Okay, I'm going to leave that one. I'm not going to paint the bottom. You'll see why. It's going to be amazing. Promise. And this one, what shall we do? Like this? I think so. Uh, 
best look at that. Hmm. I'm just blending the edges together so it's not such a hard, um, you know, hard break between the two colors. Doesn't have to be exact. And you certainly don't need to do that if you don't want to. Art is subjective. You do what you want. You do what makes you happy. Hmm, I just had an idea. I just had an idea for that one. So I'm going to leave this one just like that. And then hmm, these, I am not going to put any more paint on my oh, on my board i'm just going to use what i have use what i have and just go with it so three oyster shells and what else That's cute. I like it. I'm going to do the same thing with that one. Let me trim up the little edges there. There we go. I'm really just doing this to use up this paint. Different. Really want red up here. I'm trying to do like I really was trying to do a sunset on this one. Like a smoky red sunset. Okay, I've got to let these dry. I got my supervisor in with me today. Got my supervisor. Get my supervisor. Hello. He's coming to help. Definitely want to add a manatee. This one, a manatee water slide. I think that one will work good. A palm tree on this one. This one, I'm gonna put a turtle. That might be way too big. We'll try it anyways. These probably a little bit of both. So let's cut this out first. So you just need a little dish of water. You don't need a whole lot. And soak these. I'm going to try it. It might be too big, but we'll see. What I'm going to do.
do is the manatee because it's been soaking the longest. I think that'll be fine. Do we have any fleas in here? See that? All right. Put a little bit of water, even though I don't really think it's necessary. And then just gently slide that off. And I'm just going to use my finger to kind of get all the wrinkles out. That's going to be cute. Whoops. It's going to be really cute. This one is the gigantic turtle. It's intimidating me. I did get, I don't think I sealed this one well enough. But I'm going to give it a try. I don't know if you can, I don't even know if you could see this on camera, but I am so scared it's not going to fit. But I think it is. I think it is. I think it's fitting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right. Her little head is a little crooked, but I don't care. It fit. I'm leaving it. I'm going to leave it. All right. These three, I did cut a little teeny turtles. And I'm going to put a little teeny turtle, I think, um, on the bottom, maybe? Or right here. And then something there. I don't know. These are so little. And then we'll do something else. Along there. A little tiny one. There we go. All right. I am not going to touch these anymore. I will come back once everything is dry and um, resin everything. But this one, I could just go ahead and draw the palm tree now on this one. You know what? I could have... Okay. I got a plan. I'm going to make the... Because I'm going to put the sand down here. With my resin okay i could do that now now let's just do this so this is the trunk of our palm tree make him a little fat and then the first leaf will follow the shell So see, I'm taking advantage of the, the break in the shell to kind of give me a structure for the leaf, if that makes sense. And I think I want to do one more here. We've had quite a few hurricanes where you are quite a few of the palm trees here that definitely show the weather weathered signs of, of hurricanes and they just keep standing tall. That's gonna be that's gonna be really cool, especially once I get the sand down in there. I like that. And I'm just taking my silver. I really like this silver pen. And I just want to I just want to run over each one of the fans and kind of just highlight just 
just a little bit. let everything dry because I want to resin everything all, way, all at once just to save some time and I will probably I don't know put put something there some glass or something and, um but I just need to let, let everything dry all right have a little drink afternoon all right let's finish these up Rusty paint pens. It's a light blue. Very weird. It's a weird, weird. So I'm just gonna just draw some seagrass. See that? This is what manatees eat. This is their primary diet, is seagrass. I'm sure they eat other things. I don't really know. But I'm just drawing on little clumps. Okay. Why don't you let him out? Well, he's going to pee if you don't. Okay. And then I'm just going to add this other thing that closer here. Oh. And then just this other green one for some reason. And I'm just add, I'm trying to add contrast but I don't think this one really has much ink left in it and then I had brown somewhere this is more gold happened to my brown I'm just gonna add a few little just very very light areas just for contrast and just a few areas there okay and a few places where I want to add silver this is just for contrast. And that'll be enough on that one. This one just needs sand at the bottom. This one's ready. I want to add a palm tree to this one. Make this one kind of go off the side of the shell there. Okay. 
and then maybe make the trunk a little bit taller because the leaves are like almost touching the ground. And I think that'll be enough on that one. I'll probably put some sand right right there at the base. I don't know what this one needs. Maybe it just doesn't need anything. This one definitely doesn't need anything except for, you know, the resin. And this one doesn't. I will just probably add embellishments to that one. All right. I'm going to mix up some resin. All right. These are ready for the next step. And I think I am just going to put um, a nice, just a, a nice um, clear layer of resin. I pre-mixed my resin. It's KS Resin Liquidy Split. I don't use anything else but KS Resin. Sometimes I do use the, um, the art, the, what is it, the, oh, I don't want to miss, say the, the product name, but it's the, I guess it's the art resin um, that's not the fast set. But most of the time I use the liquidy split just because I can work a little faster and get more done. That's all I'm going to do to this one. Um, I'm going to do this one next, but I kind of want it, let's use a little bit of this Play-Doh. Get this at the Dollar Tree, it's so awesome. And I just want to do a really thin layer again. And then I'm going to put some of my mermaid trash. Um, I don't really like that turtle. It came out, came out kind of wonky. But I'm going to put a little bit of my mermaid trash right there. Like a little deserted island. There we go. And just drizzle a little bit more on there and it'll self level. These guys, I'm just going to put a thin layer. Probably should have gloved my other hand, but I don't know. I don't like using gloves, honestly. I, even when I garden outside, ooh, what is that? Even when I'm gardening outside, I don't like wearing gloves. Unless it's like horse manure or something. But I haven't had horses in years, so I don't have horse manure. But I don't know. I just like to garden with my hands. I can feel the dirt. All right, this one, I think I'm going to put a little bit of like all over some of the smaller mermaid trash. But I'm going to do, let me do this one next. And just getting it all inside the shell. I don't know if I'm going to put any in this one. Oh, geez, Louise. What in the actual heck? Well, I guess it doesn't stick as well to the shell like I thought, but the resin will definitely seal it in. That's cute. I'll probably add something, something there too. Okay, so this one, I am going to add a lot of that mermaid trash to the bottom, and I probably should have gone ahead and done that first maybe with some Mod Podge. Um, so I'm not using so much resin, but I'm just gonna fill this little bowl up with the mermaid trash and just drizzle. Probably wanna put a little bit more. Well, here's my bottle. Here we go. Can you see that still? No. 
I ain't got some leftovers, don't I? What should I do? This one has enough. I guess I can just add a little bit more. This one has enough. And this one has enough. Alright, I'm just gonna... I just don't want to waste it. Alright, that's enough. I'm going to take my glove off. Alright. Wait, you right there. And what did I say I was going to do? Sometimes this stuff is really fine, almost like glitter. Can you see it? Like really fine crushed glass, teeny tiny tiny little rocks. Can you see that? Little rocks and little shells. I'm just going to sprinkle it. Almost like glitter. Really like that color. That's enough on that one. I think that's enough. I don't want to put too much. Her going to let this cure. And it'll take between oh, two to four hours before it's dry to the touch. And we can handle them and go ahead and flip them over and put our hangers. So not much to do now except go have a drink and finish watching the ball game. Go Braves. Put my hangers on the backs of these. I'm going to have to clean. Actually, this is coming through from holes in the shell. So I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to turn these over. You know, that leaked through from, from the holes in the shell. That's all right. I'm going to turn these over and make sure I have the right side up. And then we're just going to use raffia twine. Raffia twine and a hot glue gun and then these little glass base filler beads from the dollar store. And watch what I do with those. So I'm going to put a little dot of the hot glue. Put the twine down. And then put one of these little glass beads on top. And that just hides the end of the twine and it finishes off the back a little bit more. This one, really, I can just tie it. Um, I can just tie the twine from the hole. This will work fine. This will work just fine. I just don't like to drill into these oyster shells because they're they're so thick and it's noisy and it's dirty and I just don't want to do it. This one's got a nice little crack on it. All right. Or you can do the hot glue on top of the twine. And this one has a hole too.
And there we have it. Painted shells with water slide. Almost messed up on that one. And then just acrylic paints and water slides and shells and resin. And have my next set of Christmas ornaments to go into my art show booth. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something new and enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, happy crafting. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Cheers, guys.